Hey it's Hirsch and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a stationary pal haul as well as showing you guys what is in my pencil case. Stay tuned to the end of the video for that since we are starting with the haul but before we get started I'd like to say a huge thank you to stationary pal for partnering with me and making this video possible. I will be talking more about the videos of our collaboration later on in the video so stay tuned for that as well. Starting off packaging did change from the last time I received one of their packages. This time there is a holiday winter theme which is super cute and considering that Christmas is coming up I'm very excited. Also, let me know if there are any Christmas themed video ideas that you guys may want to see. They included the sweet thank you card and a bunch of freebies apart from the ones that I ordered, most of them being holiday themed. So starting off, I got this Santa themed stationery kit which is super adorable. The last time I received one of these like themed stationery kits was when I was a kid so it's definitely nostalgic. It included pencils, erasers, sharpeners, and also a ruler and it's just so cute. I love the packaging of everything that's in this set and I think it's definitely very cute. Next up, I also received these four bunny pins which again were all freebies and you'll see the fourth one later on but I love the pastel colors and the little flowers in their hair so right now you can see the pink and the white one and I also ended up getting this gray one and then I got this grid washi tape since I use a lot of brown in my sketchbook and it's a nice color that complements with a lot of things and also this cute pink eraser that apparently shapes into like a mountain um, once you guys use it, it'll like look like a snowy mountain tip on the top and I think that's really cool I've been using it a lot actually and it's, I can definitely see it slowly getting into that shape it's also a very good eraser so I definitely recommend getting it in general Next up, I got this Nezuko themed tape corrector since I definitely need one when I'm taking notes or even when I'm drawing. This is just a plain white color and it's also like kind of bright so although it doesn't like perfectly watch with my sketchbook since it's like more of a cream white color, I think it still looks really nice and I absolutely love using it. It's also super easy to use um, although it did take me a little bit to get a hang of. Next up, we have these transparent bear stickers. <laughs> Here's how they look. They come in the really cute packaging. There's actually like a lot of types of stickers that come with these packaging from like the same brand, I'm assuming. But I got this one since I did get others from the same brand, but like in a different form. Here's a little bit of a close up on how they look. I haven't like actually opened it up yet, but I definitely did get a lot of stickers in this haul. Speaking of stickers, I also got this drinks theme stickers, which are actually opaque. I thought that they'd be like transparent because that's kind of what it looked like in the pictures that they had on the website but they look really cute and super aesthetic and i think they'll look really nice in my sketchbook spreads uh, they also gave me this cute bear which again was a freebie i think i got this in my last haul as well and this egg bear themed acrylic clip which i actually do need for painting I also got a Narino Sakura themed tape dispenser, um, basically you can just put the tape on any surface and then it'll just stick. I think this is really nice, especially because I have I can stop like doing the donut method with regular tape. Also it looks really cool, like I love the Sakura design on it. And yeah. They also gave me these two reindeer and Christmas themed pens. I'm pretty sure they're just regular ballpoint pens, but the 3D models on them look super adorable. I also did get a few like organizers for my desk this time since it's becoming like really messy. So the first thing that I got was this tape dispenser box. Um, it's, my, it's meant for washi tape and I have been getting a lot of washi tape lately. Also not me holding it in the wrong way, but it does work really well and I put a lot of my new washi tapes in it. I also got this egg keychain which is super adorable and here's the other brown bear pin that I was talking about earlier. As well as this freebie duck that I found. It looks really cute and I'm keeping it on my desk as a decoration for now. This is one of the three sticker up books I believe I got. Um, these are this is what I mean by like the other themed um, bear sticker things. Uh, they look really cute, and here's a look at the inside. They have a lot of like themes inside the papers too, which I think is really cute. And I have started using them. Waker, they work really well, and you'll see me use them later on in the video. Here's the second one that I got with like the same characters and design, but it's like a different letter book. Oh, by the way, I will be linking all the things that I got like in the description so you guys can order whatever you want. This one had a lot more like numbers and general stuff while the other one was more themed and yeah. I also got this Kirby acrylic clip basically for like holding my paper in place when I'm like painting or something. So that's definitely very useful. And I also got some pieces of jewelry. So this is the cinema roll necklace has the cinnamon roll like um, character and also some pearls I think and it looks super cute I've been wearing it and it looks really cute lately 
I also got this Laird Moon and Stars golden necklace. It actually has two. One of them is more like a choker style thing, which you'll see later. And the first one is like an actual necklace with the moon pendant on it, or like a crescent. And here's a choker that I was talking about earlier. There's also these two matching like black and white hearts. So the first ones are earring studs and the other one is a bracelet. And now we get into the collection of pens that I got. I got Muji, Micron, all of them in the color black. And I also got these three, which come in the colors brown, blue, and gray. And they're all brush pen mountain liners. I also got these tweezers for stickers, as well as this oil painting themed sticky notes. Um, I've been obsessed with getting sticky notes lately, and these themed ones look super pretty. They're really pretty to put in my sketchbook or something. And I also got plain white ones, also again for my sketchbook, because sometimes the page already has so many colors, I just need something plain to like fix the drawing over. I also got a new pencil case. This is the pencil case that you'll be seeing in the what's in my pencil case later on in this video. Um, it's definitely very nice. I got the blue color because I thought it looked nice, but I was very close to getting the pink one. Now we get into the washi tapes. So I got this grid orange bear themed one with like cherries on it. It's super adorable. I got the simple border one with like a brown loop spiral sort of thing, as well as this loaf bread bear sort of themed one. I'm not sure what they're called, but they look really cute. And I also really like getting the bear themed ones because they always have the cutest designs on them. And here's a closer look at that. I also got these green line sticky notes. They have like different patterns on them. I'm not sure what I'll use them for, but I'll definitely find a use. As well as this golden foil sheep sticker set. Um, I found this and it looked super cute. I don't know what I'll use this for again, but it's still super cute. I also got a bunch of Sakura themed washi tapes. This one was an individual one. Um, here's what it looks like. It's bigger than the other ones. And I also got a set. They have like golden foil in them and they look so pretty. I've been using them so much lately and they're just honestly so pretty. And I also got an orange version of the mountain eraser that I showed earlier. I also had to get a new ruler since my old one broke. It, I think I've had it since like, I think at least for six years or something. And I'm surprised it lasted this long, but this is a new one. It's also bigger than the other one that I had. I also got this Sakura bookmark with like a little flower at the end, which is super pretty and I'm excited to use it. And these paper deco stickers, um, they look really cute and they're like real life object themed, which is really cute because I don't have stickers that look like them. So this is the second organizer that I got from this haul. I got this pink one because my desk has been getting super messy lately and I just need a place to like put all my stickers and items because right now they're just cluttered everywhere. Assembling it was actually really easy, it only took like less than a minute, probably 30 seconds. And I decided to put all the stickers that I got from this haul into it, along with the tweezers and some of the sticky notes that I got. It was definitely a lot easier putting them in this rather than leaving them in my desk all cluttered. And here you can see me assembling it. I was going to put it vertically, but most of the stickers couldn't fit that way, so I had to put it horizontally instead. But it still looks really good and I'm very happy with how it looks. Going back to the haul, I got this Good Day mini sticker pad. Um, I didn't know that they were stickers when I originally ordered them. I thought they were just like, I don't even know, but it just looked really cute. But apparently they are stickers. They're transparent ones that you can peel off. That's very cute. Um, I'm actually not sure what it is, but it come with a lot of colorful papers. And I'm assuming they're stickers, but I haven't used any of them yet. The papers come in two sizes. One of them's like a regular portrait size. And here's a look at them. They're all pink themed. There's also a smaller version of all of them, which is really cute. Next up, I got a water brush for like painting. And I've never used one of these before, so I might include it in like a video, like a paint with me or something. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. I also got this bear keychain, which is similar to the egg one that I got. I'm gonna be putting it onto my backpack soon. Here's the next collection of pens. I got this black mini suit pen, um, the Sarasa gel pen. I also got a pink version of the mini suit pen, and when you click it, you can actually see like bear images like switch, which I think is a super cool feature. And then I got this clear grid sticky note. Um, I thought it was going to be opaque, but apparently it's clear. Um, and then I also got this binder journal. It's really cool because you can like bind, like similar to a binder, you can unclasp it and you can actually take off pages or like remove the covers and add your own if you want, which is super cool. And inside it's actually grid. 
I also got these pastel highlighters in a set of six, I believe, since my old ones are running out. And last but not least, I got this Rosie Posie sticker book. This is the biggest sticker book that I've ever had. And I'm definitely very excited to start using all these stickers, especially for like gifts or like packaging and stuff like that. And here is a look at the stickers inside the book. They all look super cute and I'm excited to start using them. That concludes the haul, so everything will be linked in the description like I mentioned before, and let's move on to the pencil case. So now I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my pencil case. My old one was just a single section and it had like a clear cover, but I thought this would be easier since it has so many sections and it's just better to organize it this way. First off, I always keep sticky notes in case I mess something up in my notes or in my sketchbook, I just easily cover it with those. I also have these five different highlighters at the top, which are the ones that I mainly use for note taking. This pink one, a purple, light blue, and dark blue all have a chisel tip and a bullet nib, while the cyan colored one has a brush tip. I have a couple more highlighters as well, and I ordered those with brush tips because they're just the ones that I use most for like school projects or stuff, so it's easier to write with them. I also got these two pencil lead boxes. One is 0.5 size and the other is 0.7 because I use those two for all my mechanical pencils. Although right now I only have one mechanical pencil in this pencil case. Next up is the main pink eraser from before, which is my new favorite. This is my old favorite, but for some reason it's been sponging lately, so I don't use it that much. And this orange kneaded eraser type one. I also have a sharpener in case I ever need it, and the new ruler. So to the bottom section, these are the other two mild liner highlighters that I got. I got this gray one, which was in the haul, as well as a brown one. Both of them, again, have brush tips, and I'm looking forward to using them. I also have this purple and black calligraphy pens. I think I think they're Tombow brush pens, and I do have other colors, but these are the ones that I use the most, so the other colors I keep in my desk in this little jar. I also have these scissors. I think I got from Dollar Store or something. They were really cheap, and they work really well. Here is the Nezuko tape fixer thing and I've actually been using it a lot more than I thought I would, so it's definitely very helpful. Here is my favorite pen that I use literally for everything. Um, I use it for notes, it dries super fast, it also works really well, the ink goes on super smoothly, so I definitely recommend it. Got this Pilot GTEx C4 pen, which I don't honestly use that much anymore, but if I do, it's mainly just for doodling or sketchy line art. The new Sarasa gelling pen, it works smoothly, but it doesn't dry that fast, so I would not recommend it for note taking. And I also have this jelly roll pen. I usually have an uni ball themed one, but this is the one that I have right now since last time when I went to the art store, they didn't have it. I have these three pens to match my highlighters. I do switch out the colors of like my highlighters and my pens from time to time, but here are the colors right now. I have this pilot color Eno, which is mainly for base sketching because it's in the color red. And last but not least, I have the mechanical pencil. This is what I use most of the time for all my sketching and doodling everything. I got a lot of questions about that, so I hope this video was helpful. Now, while we're swatching it, I would like to talk a bit about the Stage Made Pod collaboration and the details. So I will be um, linking my commission link in the description, so if you do click on it and purchase anything from that link, I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you. There is also a discount code on the screen right now that you can use for 18% off on any product. Speaking of discounts, there will be thousands of products that are having a discount on honor of Black Friday and Double Eleven events from up to 50% off. Hundreds of new products as well on their website, so you can definitely check that out if you haven't visited it in a while. Also, if you purchase anything for 99 cents USD, um, you can enter a draw for winning two AirPods plus two iPhone 14s. The sale was from November 1st and it goes till November 29th, so now is definitely a time to buy anyone Christmas, early Christmas gifts or just gifts for their birthdays or anything in general. There's also new packaging available, so make sure to check out the in the description. Like I mentioned before, I will also be listing all the products that I got in this video in the description in case you see anything that you are interested in. Now I'm finishing up the swatches, I'm just writing stationery pal at the top of this journal. By the way, this is the campus notebook that I got in my last stationery pal haul, which works great for any note taking. Now I'm just doodling really quickly with my new Sarasa gel ink pen, and I'm also using some of the highlighters to shade. I haven't really drawn that much this week, so this is definitely very relaxing, and it was nice to take a break and like not do anything that's like super over the top or fancy. Here I'm using the blue highlighter to add shadows and make like give the drawing more depth and make it more interesting. 
I did a couple of doodles. I did this girl with a bun and drawing hair was so much fun for this one. I had no idea why, but it was just so satisfying. Especially seeing it sped up is just so satisfying to look at. I think all the drawings came out super cute and I had a great time doing this haul and review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then to make turn sure on your notifications because there has been an issue lately well, where you can only see if you have the notifications turned on. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe and bye.